This is Carl F. Rose recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania on Monday, October 29th, uh, 20, October 19th, 2020. Uh, first of all, let me get my music on here. Okay, now let me go to my disclaimer. Um, do this. Okay, if you're 13 years old or younger, please leave this podcast now. Uh, these podcasts are not uh, uh, targeted for children in any way, so um, if you're under 13, please leave now. Okay, good morning everyone. This is Carl F. Rose, recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania on Monday, October 19th, 2020, and uh, recent developments over over the last 48 hours or so on the Biden camp are not very good. And there are rumors, uh, I'll, I'll put it at that, rumors, uh, because nothing nothing is official yet. Uh, but uh, he may be forced to drop out of the race because of the allegations. And I have to say allegations, because again, nothing's been proved about his son and uh, uh and all the ties with Ukraine and that sort of thing, and then other other just uh, things going on. Uh, it's not looking good for him. So, and what I'm not sure about is um, with it being this late in the campaign. Um, I know there are procedures, but I'm not familiar with them. Um, and not only do we have to consider all these allegations and things, but his overall general health. I mean, it's it's got to be obvious even to the, the the Biden campaign itself that he is just not physically uh, physically fit to to run the country I mean uh, so you got the health issues you got the other things coming up and so what's next for them um, and what are the procedures um, because it's only a few weeks away from the election Um I think they're going to have to do a lot of scrambling, and maybe the uh, maybe the uh, election will turn out to be Trump versus Harris or something. Um, uh, who knows? Maybe that was their game plan all along. Um, but personally, I think this whole uh, thing um, for Biden is just really unfair to him. I, I might not like his policies and. and and all the things that, that that his party stands for, but personally, um, for him and um, him, I think this is just really has been really unfair to him personally. He's the, the guy's sick. Um, uh, he is being tortured by his own his own party, um, and again, his wife. Um, you know. Um, uh, you gotta, you gotta question her motives. It's this is just this is the 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 saddest thing I have ever seen in my entire life in any presidential election. Um, and you gotta feel for the guy seriously. No matter what your view is on him, um, he's sick. He needs to he needs to rest. He needs he he needs to have you know um, consistent medical care, and he can't possibly do that when he's out on the road and how can he have constant medical care if he's running running the country um um if what if they put him in um so it's it's just a really bad situation it's it's horrible to watch um and i just i just really feel bad for the guy person and for his family and i i'm just i'm just questioning his wife and his kids and if that was my dad out there i would be furious um i would just be absolutely furious that that the democratic party is doing this to him um this is just really unfair to him and uh, they really need to uh make some rearrangements anyway well i'm going to end off on that note and um, let me just play my music here okay 
Um, and with that said, I think all of us, no matter what our views are, we need to send uh, thoughts and prayers to the Biden family, no, no matter what, because the man's sick. Um, he really needs that. His family needs that. And um, um, as I said, I don't agree with his policies and his views, but uh, we, need to, we need to send their families prayers, you know, seriously. So we'll talk to you next time. Have a good day.